Hello! Welcome back to another Adventures of Jared Morris, starring yours truly, Jared Morris, with a special guest, Nicholas. This time, we're going fishing. Hi, fishes. How y'all doing? We're back with another video! What is good? As y'all know, we're here for fishes. But before we get to the fishes, a couple things, of course. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It'd be pretty neat to become a fish yourself. Also, like this video if you enjoy it, and if not, let's give me some feedback in the comments because I love comments. They're pretty sick. As you can see, I look kind of rough because it's currently 1 in the morning and I'm making this intro, but also my last couple weeks have been pretty... My last couple weeks have been pretty chaotic because I've been doing something every single day for like 12 hours a day. I've got training. It's pretty fun, but it's still just very draining. So, as you can see, I've got like gross stuff going on here. So, just ignore that and we'll just get to the fishes right now. So, let's rock and roll. So, as y'all know, the first and most important thing about fishing is choosing the correct lure. And as you can see here, my brother and I have quite the selection. But I decided on the shallow fingerling. He is my favorite lure for the past like four years. And he works pretty great. I just want And then we got started fishing, except my brother kept getting in my way. I was like, what the hey-ho? So then I casted my pole out and back in and out, and you know the gist of it. We're just going to skip to the important part when I actually caught some fish. And the first thing I caught, of course, was not a fish. It was the most delicious little weed I've ever did see. Let's just take a look. <laughs> These stinking fisher guys, even though they look far away, they were trying to steal our spot. If you're very quiet, look in the tree and maybe you'll see the eagle. I couldn't believe we saw a bald eagle. It was wild. So clearly that first spot didn't work for us, but my brother actually let me drive the boat. I couldn't even believe it. I've never been able to drive his boat in my entire life. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay, enough of the fluff. Let's get to the real fishing. Apparently, I'm not a real fisherman, but then all of a sudden, look what I did. Ugh. Yet again, it wasn't even a stinking fish. It was fishing line. What is my deal? I can't catch a fish, but I can catch anything else that's living in this ocean. PSA, this is actually, like, not an ocean. How can these people waste so much line? Think about how many fish got tangled in this eventually. I'm so glad we took it out of the environment and saved the day. And I even got a free lure. Fancy that. Haha, <laughs> look at my brother's face of sadness and disarray because he couldn't catch a fish. So after about two hours went by and my shallow fingerling wasn't working, I said, I give up. It's time to change. Apparently this is time for my brother to shine because he caught the first fish. And let me tell you, it wasn't even tiny. <laughs> Would you look at that? That's one big fish. Let me tell you, that's one big fish. And you know what kind it is? That's a dogfish. And you know what? Dogfish are so slimy. I'm so happy I didn't have to touch it. Oh wait, I totally did. Look at how gross this thing is. They're really cool, but they're predators, and they have kind of sharp teeth in their mouth, so I don't really get too close. Okay, no, this is seriously unfair. One after another, he just caught another fish, and this one's a giant largemouth bass. I am so disappointed in myself. What is going on? So as you can see here with my narration without any volume, he caught three fish. The other one was super tiny, so I didn't show it. But I still hadn't caught a single fish. Oh boy, I finally was bamboozled. Look at this little fish. It was smaller. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this fish was smaller than my lure. Just my luck. I'm gonna need to call an ambulance. Okay, was it just me or did anyone else just see that fish pee on my hand? That's disgusting. Why did that have to happen to me? But then, as a storm started a-brewing, I finally hit big. Look at this behemoth girl. She was thick. This is the largemouth bass, in case you wondered, just like my brother's second fish. But mine was bigger. Well, folks, that's the end of it all. I hope you enjoyed this little mini fishing vlog. Until next time, 
Bye, fishes!